Hello, Mut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm working on my napkin journal. Uh, I'm going to link down below how I create my napkin journal. I do it myself and it's really easy. So uh, if you're interested, you can see it down below at the description area. I have this beautiful napkin uh, that has this uh, very uh, relaxed girl on it uh, with uh, leaves on her hair. Uh, I call her the forest girl. Uh, so I'm going to use her and uh, complete this journal page uh, in a short time. So it's uh, very easy uh, for beginners as well if you are new to this. I grabbed uh, a bunch of stencils that I have at home uh, in my stash uh, that has leaves. Uh, so you can use whatever you have. Uh, I just uh, glued the napkin on my page uh, with my matte medium. And now I'm going to use my uh, modeling paste to, uh, over this stencil to create some texture all around her. Because she has uh, leaves on her uh, hair, I just wanted to uh, go around and uh, do the same for the rest of the page. Uh, to have the same kind of uh, texture and then I'm going to use uh, uh, my coloring medium uh, to color the page. Uh, I'm just uh, using all these uh, the different stencils uh, uh, here and there uh, to create some different uh, shapes uh, all around the page. In the meantime, I can tell you I buy uh, my napkins from Napkin Shop. Uh, they ship worldwide uh, and they have a very large selection and you don't have to buy the uh, uh, same design in a, a big pack uh, they sell it one by one uh, for decoupage um, so I'm going to leave the link down below as well and I have a discount code that you can use uh, always for whatever you buy from there I think I got this uh, napkin from there as well uh, they also have a very large selection of uh, rice papers I, I couldn't see the end of it uh, as well as a large selection of napkins um, so check it out if you're interested in uh, decoupage uh, in your journals. It's one of my favorite uh, ways to journal. Uh, it's so easy and satisfying in a very short time. Now that I'm done with um, texturing, I just sprayed a little bit water and I'm using my infusions for coloring today. These are powder pigments and they all have uh, some walnut color in it. So they are kind of muted and vintage kind of uh, colors uh, i'm just uh, by the way my texture paste is dry so uh, i can do the coloring uh, and uh, i'm using a few colors of uh, greens uh, all around the page uh, to give color I threw in a brick kind of color, a dark orange inside too, because there is some um, dark orange in her hair. I think it goes uh, very well. Also, it creates some forest, uh, you know, uh, colors. So I'm after I throw all these uh, pigments, powders, uh, I'm just uh, spraying some water and uh, let it uh, dry. You don't need to uh, throw a lot of pigment. These are very pigmented. Uh, so you see the colors are very deep and uh, vibrant. Uh, you just need to uh, throw a little. Uh, even I can say I, uh, I put too much, I think. But it's okay. Um, if you put water and dilute it, uh, you can get whatever color you want. I'm not bringing it close to the napkin, not to uh, you know have accidents of uh, blobs of uh, uh, watercolors. And um, after I dry it very well, uh, so now everything is dry. I'm taking a couple of gelatos that are lighter in color, like a beige color and a white. And, I, and you will see, I'm going to go over uh, this uh, napkin and the texture. Uh, and you will see the texture will pick up the uh, gelato color. So all these uh, um, beautiful uh, leaves that I created with the uh, stencils will come through and this, uh, this uh, background color will stay at the back. I chose a, like a beige color to do this because the background of the napkin is actually an off-white beige kind of color. 
so it goes very well and uh, it blends the napkin uh, into the rest of the page if you don't have gelatos they are a little bit on the pricey side um, there are gel crayons uh, out there in the market uh, a lot a lot of brands check them out on amazon or other websites or art stores that you have i'm sure you'll find something similar as you see now using this gelato i pushed all this very vibrant uh, background to the back uh, so it's uh, a little bit more subtle now i'm using a white now to highlight the texture even more and all the texture came to the front and um, this is a technique you can use for any art journal uh, background that you want to use i'm also splashing some white uh, paint out there this is dina wakely's uh, acrylic gloss uh, spray i thought it would be easier to splash from there and for the edges uh, to create a little bit of a border i'm using another uh, gelato in brown color very subtle as you see uh, enough to push things uh, in the middle uh, and uh, only on the side of the girl because the other sides have a border all the colors will match i'm using a even darker uh, color of brown uh, on the edges again and finally i'm going to stick the coat uh, this is from seven dot studio i have a sticker set uh, that i bought ages ago Again, I'm using my stash. It says a journey for the soul and I think this peaceful page uh, is a perfect representation of that uh, quote. I really love it uh, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel or uh, leave a comment. Again, you will find the links down below uh, for the napkin shop and my other videos that I uh, create napkin journals. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.